We go to first quarter action at Sparta High School, and Kelly Ann Bowman of Vernon gives the Vikings a 2 0 lead here over Del Val with this jumper in this Hunter and Warren Sussex quarterfinal clash. But the Terriers take a 6 4 lead here, and Aaron Petrullo gets the friendly roll for Del Val, and they lead by two. Vernon cuts Del Val's lead to one here, 8 7. Watch Brittany S. turn and fire as she buries the three for the Vikings. Then watch Vernon turn its defense into offense here off the steal as Kellyanne Bowman finds Natalie Womble, who scores, and Vernon takes a 9 8 lead. Del Valerie takes the lead here as Jessica Mustafa scans a short baseline jumper for the Terriers, and it's 12 9 Del Val. But watch Brittany S. to Vernon take this long three pointer from downtown Augensburg, and Vernon knocks the game at 12 after one quarter. Okay, second board we go, and Karen McDonald, Vernon, finds her favorite spot on the floor as she buries the tray from the right wing, and Vernon leads 19-18. Vernon then takes a 21-20 lead at the half. Watch Jess Mills dropping this jumper for the Vikings right before the buzzer. Del Val gets the second half off on the right foot. Watch Alyssa Fleming make this nice move to the bucket, and the Terriers take a 22-21 lead. But watch Karen McDonald, Vernon, get the shooter's roll here off this long jumper for the wing, and Vernon leads 23-22. The lead is short-lived, however, as Emma Petrillo makes the steal and she takes it all by herself, and Del Val leads 26-24 over the Vikings. And the Terriers push their lead to six here, as John Hopkins bound senior Alyssa Fleming hands this jumper in 30-24 Del Val. Now watch this great play by Alyssa Fleming to end the third quarter, as she makes the steal, gets the hoop and the foul, as she converts the conventional three-point play for Del Val as they take a 37-26 lead after three. Big play right there. All right, fourth quarter we go. Chloe Early, who had a big game for Del Val, she makes this nice power move as the Terriers start to pull away and lead 43-26. Vernon looks to rally here. Carrie McDonald sinks another three, but it's too little too late as Del Val, the number two seed from Hunter and Warren, knocks off the third seeded Vikings from Sussex 47-33 to advance to the Hunter and Warren Sussex semifinals. We came out in the second half really flat. I mean, you know, our heads were out of it. It was all really mental. So we were making a lot of mental mistakes, and I think that's how Del Val pulled ahead of us. We're up one at the half, and we're in there thinking we're playing sloppy, not doing very many good things offensively, defensively, but we're up one. So we're just trying to tell the kids, you know, we got to refocus, play a better second half, and we just pretty much stayed status quo, just didn't play well, and, uh, you know, obviously they upped their level. Vernon hasn't had much trouble with pressure defense this year, but tonight was a different story. I don't really think it was more their defense, more than our lack of running to the ball, calling for the ball, flashing to the ball. I mean, we left our guards hanging, and that's that was the biggest problem. It definitely wasn't the defense. It was us. We were totally out of it. It was very uncharacteristic of, uh, of our kids, you know, the, the turnovers. We haven't had those turnovers all year. Um, I mean, 17 in the first half we had. And uh, I don't think we've had 17 all year. And it was, it was a press we saw on film. It was a press we've been able to handle in the past. And just for some reason tonight, I mean, I guess you got to give credit to them, but I, I just think we made a ton of mistakes tonight. The Terriers capped that quarter with a huge play. Alyssa Fleming made a steal, made a layup, and was fouled. I kind of got on one of our kids because I thought we gave up a three right at the end there that we should have taken, and we didn't. And then sure enough, you know, loose ball, they're going the other way. We foul, three-point play. So right there, you know, six-point swing. But uh, you know, I, I just think another, just another mistake on our parts. Despite the loss, the Vikings have a lot to look forward to as they're the number one seed in North 1 Group 4 and will host a state game next week. We're definitely going to leave this game behind us and take what we can and then leave the bad stuff behind. Um, we're going to learn from our mistakes. We have, a, we have a game tomorrow, and then we're going to work on everything that we need to work on and prepare for that game because we're going to win it. We're trying to t tell these kids, you know, you have opportunities. We had opportunities in this, in this county tournament to move on. We didn't take advantage of it. You know, we have a great opportunity in, uh, you know, the state tournament as a number one seed. Uh, you know, home games as much as we win. But, you know, we, we got to be able to take care of our own business and we got to want it. We got to really want it when we go out on the floor. And, uh, you know, we, nobody's going to give it to us at this point of the year. You know, every, every game we play, every team we play, it's a state game. And the kids got to go out there, you know, wanting to play hard and wanting to win.